I don't know what it is, but I find that first peel oh so satisfying. Hey guys, it's James and today I will be using this to make a couple of these in different settings to see if the settings make a difference in the sizes of the holes. I'm going to print them in different angles. If you want to see the long version of the design process, you can click on the card here. You can also download the STL files to the M2 through M6 holes in the description below. Down here, these are the sizes that I started with for the holes. So this is going to be the M2, M3, M4, M5, and M6. And these are the starting sizes on the bottom. I rounded it to the tenth of a millimeter. And then those are the starting sizes. And then it's going to increment in 0.1 millimeter increments. So this hole is going to be 5.8 as indicated by this uh, number right here. And then the next one is going to be a 5.9. And then the next hole is going to be a uh, 6.0. And then the next one is going to be a 6.1. For a lot of the prints for the holes, I noticed that there is a horizontal expansion, which I'm going to talk about in for the Kira settings also. The same thing for the hexagon. It's going to be a horizontal measurement, not a vertical, because the vertical size and the horizontal size is going to be different. So it's going to be a horizontal measurement, and it's going to increment in sizes of 0.1 millimeter from the initial starting size. So this is pretty handy to use if you use a lot of the M2 through M6 screws because uh, depending on the filament, the infill, your print may vary slightly or your sizes in diameter, how it goes in, uh, will vary slightly. Through experience, I noticed that a lot of the prints, they don't fit uh, perfectly. There is a 0.4 millimeter difference that I find that is usually a good number, about 0.3 to 0.4 uh, millimeter. You make the opening a little bit wider to a 0.2 millimeter on one part and a 0.2 millimeter on the opposing part. That way they both stick together well instead of having to use the Cura settings. And this is a kind of like a good number to kind of like remember. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video, if you thought it was helpful or not. I hope you find this video informative and before you forget, please go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification button. So guys, we have several different ones right here. This is the original that I started with. This is the one that I added the 0.2 millimeter uh, expansion for the hole. This is actually the vertical um, print. It starts to thread in about the third one. It starts to thread in, and it's pretty um, decent. But on the fourth one, you can actually just push it in. So that's kind of typical. As you can see, it's a little loose. If I shake it, it still, you know, comes out. This is a fifth one, but. I think this is because it's small. The four is okay too on this one. These are actually pretty snug on the original holes. As you can see, um, they're a little loose up top, but that's kind of like the one that you, but this is kind of like how you want it if, um, if you don't want to do a lot of threading and uh, boring up holes. If you do it here, it's going to be really tight. You're not going to be able to do a finger tight uh, screw. So that's good. We'll go to this one right here. Yeah, this is a new feature in the Kira 4.6.1. Um, if you type in the word expansion, the horizontal expansion is for the outer layer. 
the whole horizontal expansion is for the inner layer i want to change the inner layer so i'm going to put a 0.2 millimeter i don't like to use this setting in cura often i rather like incorporating the expansion into the design itself uh, one reason why i don't like to use it is it affects the whole entire design so in some places you may want to have the expansion and some places you may not and that's why i like to keep that 0.4 millimeter in mind when designing matching parts which is a two millimeter expansion, 0.2 millimeter expansion. So it fits just like the 0.2. So measure this wrong. Something's not pointing correctly. Oh, never mind. That's the wrong screw. This is the correct one, right here. And then, there's no point in really checking because um, if you remember, this is the original, and then they fit in really snug. This one's gonna to be too big. As you can see, they all just fall out. Really pretty much all fall out, except the one at the tiniest, the tiniest hole. I did wanna check this one out, the vertical, because if you look right here, there is a little bit of, um, as you can say, um, underhang and a little bit of deformation because it was printed vertically like this. And there were no supports inside, so I want to check this one out. Yeah, it is not going in very well. I'll probably have to put it in this one. It'll probably go in if I get a like a hammer or like a small tool and then just pound it inside. But I think this is the better hole right here. Better sizing. This is yeah, see it's very snug when I push it in there. If I try to squeeze it in there, it's very hard. It's not going to go in. Maybe by hammering it, it will go in. But again, if you want it kind of like finger... Oh, oh shoot, I broke it. Finger tight. It's going to be inside here. And then... Yeah, that's very snug. This is the fourth hole. Oh, it does go in fourth hole cracked it
again you can kind of like screw it in um, but you're gonna have to use a tool to uh, thread it so if you want to have a little bit of threads inside um, you can go with the first hole the original hole but again this is a This is okay at the third, but maybe it's because I cracked it right here. It's a little broken, so maybe that's why it's going in. The third, hmm, interesting. I would have thought because of the sagging, um, you see the overhang right there, it would have made the hole a little bit smaller. But this one goes in at the fourth, the horizontal. There's a horizontal expansion, more of a horizontal expansion. It's actually smaller. I would have thought that because of the overhang over here, the slight overhang, it would be, the hole would be smaller diameter. So I was surprised that there was more of a horizontal expansion than the underhang sagging. However, you guys should try this out on your own printers because every printer is a little bit different and the filament is going to be different. The infill, all, all the settings that you use are going to be probably different than mine. I do know that if you put a 100% infill in it, the size of the holes actually gets a little bit smaller not too much but very uh, tiny much maybe like a 0 0.05 millimeter difference and if you'd like to see other videos like this go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, thanks for watching